This video we're looking at similar areas. So in this question here we've got that these two hearts are similar. The area of the smaller heart is 20 meters squared. What would the area of the larger heart be? Well as before we've got to find out a scale factor and then once we found out the linear scale factor to find out the area one we square the linear scale factor. So here's going to work out my linear L S F. So that's big minus small, so that's 15 divided by 5, so 15 divided by 5, which is 3. So to find my area scale factor, I then take that 3 and square it. So my area scale factor of 9. So to find the larger area, I'm going to take the area of the small heart, 20, and then times it by my area scale factor, which gives me 180 centimetres squared. Okay, here's the second example here. We've got two ponds in the shape of a hemisphere, so I'll draw them as, uh, just as semicircles. The smaller pond has a radius of 7 metres, so let's just annotate my work, and its area is 154 metres squared. The larger pond has a surface area of 2464 metres squared, and we need to work out what the radius here of the greater one is. So what I'm first going to work out is not the linear scale factor first, but the area scale factor, as I have the areas for both of them. So big my uh, divided by small. So let's do that. And if I put that into my calculator, I get 16. Now to work the linear scale factor, given that I've got the area, well, I do the reverse of what I did before. So now I'm going to square root 16 to get that. So the linear scale factor is 4. And then to find the large radius. I'm going to take the short radius the, from the smaller one, 7, and times it by my linear scale factor. So that's going to be 28 meters.